Welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man Progress series. We're moving on to perhaps the scariest thing I've done so far, and that is the Chronazon fight in the wilderness. I know it's it's only like mild wilderness, like right here, level two or something, but hey, I'm, I'm kind of spooked. Uh, it's currently like almost 4 a.m. Central time, because that's about the lowest population you're going to get. I mean, current world, uh, private off, current world is, uh, let's see, 353, there we go, 238 people on, so, yeah, yeah, that's about the best we're going to get, uh, let's hope this goes well. Okay, I mean, I killed him in, like, literally less than 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, no problem. And there's family crest done. Time to turn these into uh, goldsmithing gauntlets because I'm going to be getting my smithing up pretty soon. Disgraceful top acquired. Just one to go. Okay, Hans, tell me what my age is. 12 days, 18 hours, and it's day 25. Okay, you, you don't have to be that real. Like, I can see you judging me, man. Just. Just let me be. On to day 26, let's pop a medium clue. Hey, the Yu Longbow I need for Temple of Ikoff. Perfect, actually. Uh, pretty, pretty trash otherwise. Okay, another medium casket, let's see. Total garbage. And Watchtower quest complete. There we go, let's use the scroll. So I can now teleport here. There's big chompy bird hunting done. 262 fletching terrible reward but uh yeah ogre bow acquired and there's temple of ikov quest done took the good path and uh got some ranged xp hey 47 almost 48 and 63 fletching on to day 27 so i withdrew my cash from miscellanea and yeah i bought about 2k gold ore so i'm gonna burn through that and then slowly start smelting uh gold crafting it into gold bracelets and then alking those away for magic xp smithing xp along the way as well i have about 1800 nats here and yeah i've got to do about 4k in total um so this is only half of it but i don't have enough cash to to buy all of it at once um also i think it's finally time to let you guys in on a little project i've been working on tab six bam yeah uh decided it was time to start prepping uh you know, food for Slayer, so there's about 7k. That should last a while. So I need to start working on cooking that. Um, yeah, let's get going. It's done. Death Plateau, 3k attack XP, and uh, best in slot weapons, you know what I mean? Okay, there's Troll Stronghold done for Law Talisman. And do I now have access to the teleport? Yeah, I think I do. Nice. The... Fremnic Easy Diaries, solely so that I can bank Snapegrass in Herblore, and that is uh, 39. I actually just picked up a few levels by making some energy potions. Um, I can make more, get a few more levels if I wanted, but uh, gonna work on prayer pots now. It's a pretty good start, 183. Uh, well, little fewer once I decant them. And tears of Gothic's done. Yeah, really hoping that. I didn't mess up by waiting too long, uh, but there's 29, and uh, here's hoping I can still do it for next week. It is after reset on Tuesday, so technically it's Wednesday now, but I think I can, I think I'm fine, I think I'm fine. I think I actually did screw up and didn't get tears for last week, and I just did my tears for the next week, so that's a, that's an oopsie. So I literally just learned that this is a thing, uh, Runelight has something called a world hopper and uh, i know there's already a world switcher right so if you click on the little world it's like hey you can switch worlds cool um but the world hopper is let's hit control alt right arrow oh wait control shift right arrow and it goes to the next world down the list how did i not know this this is so handy all right and with that last inventory that should be, there we go. 60 smithing taken care of. Uh, time to reclaim my money so that it stops burning up in the coffer. 
And time to turn this 2600 gold bars all into bracelets and then out them all, which is going to take forever. Oh, not, not 54 coins. Uh, draw 54. Okay. Yep. Just realized I didn't update my tracker for the last clip, but uh, yeah. 1372 total now, by the way. And still almost keeping up with 1 million XP per day. I mean... I think I'm, I'm just barely going to make it there. Uh, again, that's still the goal, but it's not something I'm going to stick you know, hard and fast to. Picked up uh, 65 crafting. I think that's the last level I'm going to get from all these, but that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good way into the skill. Only like 15 more levels to go to glories, right? Only 15, but we're making our way there. So I've done a little bit of math, and in order to get 80 crafting, I need about 18k sand. That's going to be kind of expensive. Uh, and I need about 3,000 giant seaweed when using super glass mank. So, hey, most of the way there, the giant seaweed won't be a problem. It's just the buckets of sand paying 50 GP a bucket. That's going to be a lot of money. Okay, it's only about 770k left to go after this. So not as bad as I thought, but still not great. Alking all day today. Day 28. Time to finally buy graceful legs. So there's the full set acquired, boys. Let's go. This alk right here, that is 70 mage. Nice. Making good progress. I'm 750k. Not missing a single day of miscellaneous on my watch. Finishing up two of these. There is the goblin generals. And here... Weird, got a farming level, okay. Uh, and here is the dwarf freed. Here's another section done, Lumbridge Guide Freed. And we are very close to finishing off the rest of our Karambuans, but there's 78 cooking, so I think that's like 11 cooking levels. I think I started at 66 maybe, now I'm on 78, so 12 levels then. Uh, yeah, 1394 total, and yes, falling behind the 1 mil a day goal. Okay, that's the last of the Karambuans, so... Yeah, I burnt 1,064. I guess that was bound to happen, just starting with such a low cooking level. Um, I mean, the, the burn rate is much better now, but it started at like 22%, now down to 12%. Um, let's see how many I have. Yeah, 6.2k. It's a pretty good start for Slayer. Unfortunately, having to drop a medium clue because it requires a blue dehyde body and mystic gloves. Mystic gloves I could buy, I just don't feel like it, but the blue dehyde body is a little bit of a struggle so it's gotta go let's pop open the easy okay okay it is time to unlock the first thing here bones to peaches and we almost have enough points to get the second thing that i want uh which is infinity boots yeah so everything's sorted except for graveyard okay second piece to unlock infinity boots give me those I'm gonna go <laughs> yeah, gonna run around real swaggy. Let's throw on the progress hat, too. That way we have the full look. Okay, cracking open another medium. Okay, I can't be I can't be mad at the law runes. Okay, and here we are finally picking up, yeah, I know, 44 Herblore. I totally meant to hit start recording. I think I hit spacebar and stopped it. But anyway... 1400 total acquired and about to pick up 45 herbalore that we need for legends quest went and grabbed a ton of snake grass like 300 i know it's only like 11 inventories or something but hey you know we're we're looking good on prayer pots now oh another part of getting to 45 herbalore is that i can now make super attacks so yeah now opened up to making about 140 that i have there and yeah, about 50 Eret Seeds that I can burn through. That is going to be a ton of very easy to acquire Herblor XP. Okay, making a clip for this. Shout out to this guy, Nuts, for literally just giving away bonds. Wait, another? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, you gave me one already. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll take a second.
<laughs> what? What is this? What is the? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean. Okay, I mean, I just gotta click it, right? He he keeps clicking on me. This is intentional, right? Yeah, sure, I'll accept. <clears throat> cool, cool. <laughs> okay, man, man. <laughs> Okay, I gotta clarify. This guy does not know that I'm recording this or streaming this, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> you done? <laughs> okay, cool. More membership. <laughs> And we are finally almost there. Come on. 91 thieving. Ah, I am so sick of this place. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, well, 5.9 million XP down. Yeah, I mean, Pyramid Plunder from here on out. Master Farmers is going to give XP. But whatever. We're done here. 430k cash stack to spend on stuff. Also, this next clip. So today my goal was to work on magic and continue progressing towards 77. Uh, ultimately, I think I'm just going to stop at 76 and then boost to do all of my super glass make uh, to begin with. Since I only have to do like an hour and a half of it to get to 80 crafting, ultimately, not too bad to boost. So we're almost 75, and how we did that was little more MTA this morning, and well, we burned through our chaos and death runes... Collecting dragon bones. Yeah, so we got 169 of those. That's going to give quite a few prayer levels. I think it'll get me to just dead on level 50. Uh, and then blue dragon hide, which we can turn into money later. It's something like a mill sitting there, I think. Not exactly sure, but uh, yeah, fair amount of GP that we'll be able to use once we start the crafting grind. Oh, and look at that. As soon as we start working on combat again, also, you know, burning through uh, thieving helps a lot almost exactly 30 million total XP again. So day 30, 30 million overall. We're picking up pace. Let's go. Okay, boys. We're risking it for the biscuit right now. We're going it to the lever. And we're going to try to do MA1. Wish me luck. Okay, boys. We managed it. Ceridome and Staff. Ton of Sarah Caves in case I ever need another i guess I, I don't ever really want to come back here but um yeah we did it and we are safely out with a, a little bit of a stock of cosmic runes um i thought i'd stock up on some while i was there but 20 a world really it still sucks uh don't think i'm gonna need too many though i'm just gonna hold on to these for future jewelry enchants also should mention, picked up uh, 55 mining, halfway to 56. Gonna try to knock out uh, 60 tomorrow, which is the requirement for Lunar Diplomacy. There is 60 mining to start off today. Time to go work on some quests. 10.6k buckets, by the way. First quest of the day done, a soul's bane. Another slice of ham. Time to take a train ride for quests, or for a diary reward. Florin's little helper. Another quest, Anacra's lament, and got the camulet. Another down, Eagle's Peak. Another quest, even though it's super pointless, Clock Tower done. Okay, probably one of the worst quests done, Rat Catchers. And now I can minigame teleport to Port Serum, which is nice. Very easy, Olaf's quest done. That took like 10 minutes, didn't fail once. And, yeah, 49 defense now. Another quest done. Between a rock. Yeah, not getting any levels for that. 
rare level 50 with the bones we gathered yesterday. And here we finish the medium arty diary. So time to upgrade the cloak and throw this into Herblore. Um, currently I'm working on getting 48 Herblore, which I'm just a level away from. That will allow me to make super annies because I got my 30th Slayer task working on a little bit of Slayer for 42 here for 60 attack. Uh, and I got a cow fight task from my first task at Cheldar. So yeah, I, I figured I should make some super annies before going. Just knocked out all of the Varok easy and medium diaries. So hopefully it'll do it in one dialogue. Yeah, cool. So there's Varok armor two and two lamps both going into Herblor. I mean, there's no other choice, right? So that'll pick up 48 can now make super anti poisons and since I did the medium RD diaries I can go farm some uh, from the Tower of Life or uh, farm some uh, unicorn horns at the Tower of Life there's Soger flesh eaters done first quest of the day 2k herblore yeah 49 quest down rum deal holy wrench unlocked this should be access to mostly harmless and cave horrors cabin fever done later one small favor done. Throw this into Herblore and Herblore, and that's 51. Okay, there's a Wobblegaze part of RFD complete, and then time to move on to Ceramic Vars. Okay, 75 agility. Bam, that might have been a health level, yeah. And use this on Scratch. Bam. That's all of them freed. Now I just have to do Desert Treasure to be able to take on the Culineromancer. And on this bat, we finally got it. It barely flashed, but 60 attack acquired. Get out of here, Rune Skim. We're D Skim boy now. Yeah, I know we need to replace the rest of this garbage, but that's coming soon enough. Oh, and just a little later, the same task. Got a strength level because I'm now going to be training strength. Also want some combat levels, but 1450 total. There's Edgar's Ruse done first clip of the day and very close to 52 Herblor. I mean, 20 XP off. So funny story behind this clip. My fiance was on a Zoom call directly behind me, so I couldn't speak whatsoever. But I also just happened to luck out and get the gout tuber in like 30 minutes. So I was very excited and also basically just holding my mouth shut but okay so just picked up the karamja gloves one went and sold some stuff for training sticks now i'm getting karamja gloves two and both lamps uh so first lamp i'm just going to throw it into herblore but i think 52 herblore unlocks super energies i'm not going to worry about herblore anymore i think i'm just going to start throwing stuff into rune crafting when possible so yeah, 5k rune crafting XP, there's a few levels, and that's where all my achievement diaries are going to be going. Um, I'm not sure if this is the best strategy, but I feel like it is up until, you know, a good time to do ZMI is unlocked. Another quest down, My Arm's Big Adventure, and there's 10k Herbler XP, which is, again, almost level 53, and 62 farming picked up. Big quest on Desert Treasure. 20k magic, ancient magics unlocked. Time to go buy the staff. Done it, boys. Recipe for disaster complete. Do I get a reward screen here at the end? I think I do, right? Yeah. There we go. 20k XP straight into... Okay, I have to decide. I'm... I want to put this in rune crafting. But I need 50? Okay, yeah, no. Herbler. Herblor it is. Get out of my sight. 54 Herblor. Okay, I mean, my cash tag is not going to recover from this, but <laughs> 130k. We got to do it, right? We got them. Look at those beautiful gloves. Okay, and with the Barrow's gloves acquired. These are the stats. That's it for this video. Yeah, that, I mean, that's it. We, we've done a lot in the last, like, 
week. I don't, I don't even know how many days are going into this one. Probably like nine or ten. Uh, yeah. On to more stuff. <laughs>